While the positivity rate remains well above the thresholds to move into a more restrictive microcluster micro de designation, Governor Cuomo has decided to leave the triple cities in the yellow zone for now. Broome County Executive Jason Garner continues to implore residents to take COVID safety precautions in an effort to reduce the percent of tests that come back positive. He says that after spending the summer at 1% or less, the county as a whole has been above 3% for weeks. Worse yet is the yellow zone cluster in the urban core reported at least its sixth straight day above 6% on a seven day rolling average. Garner says it's fortunate that the state uses more than the metrics to determine the designation. I think that's a credit to the state that they're just not, you know, taking uh, an arbitrary number and then um, kind of, uh, you know, putting us on, on a color just because they saw a number. We've had conversations about where we are seeing the spread, some of the anomalies that may have come out of that data this week. Garner says one factor is the COVID hotspot that has developed within Bridgewater Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation in Binghamton. A family member of the resident there tells News Channel 34 that the number of active cases is soaring and that a large number of staff members are out due to illness or quarantine, putting a major stress on the remaining employees. Garner also announced that the county's rapid response mobile testing site will be moving next week from First Presbyterian Church in Endicott to the BU Pharmacy School in Johnson City.